been learning about John Olsen. They've been watching the video clip of John Olsen and his love for Lake Eyre. All the footage is um, an aerial view in the plane. Unfortunately, we, ha we haven't got the money to enable all the students to get up in a plane to get an aerial view of their journey. So what we're going to do is get the students to um, sit there, imagine their journey, think about their journey and where they're going, and then imagine where their feet would be during that journey. We're going to tie sticks around our waist and then the brushes will be tied to the sticks. And we'll be using um, acrylic paints for this demonstration. We could use watercolours, um, oil paints, anything like, even crayons, pastels, um, just to get a different, different look. Uh, students are going to experiment how they can get a, a, a different, like a thicker line or a thinner line. So we'll, ha we'll have um, an experiment now with a few with a few students. So students have now um, walked around and made their path. Unfortunately, the sticks didn't probably, they weren't as rigid as they should have been to enable us to get the different lines. Although, focus on, we've got the line here, which is a bit, um, a bit thinner because the, the, the brush wasn't on the paper as much. We've got the really thick blobs, and then we've got the really thick, thick lines coming through here. student was given a different colour. So the different colours are representing each student's pathway. So you can see the different, the different directions that the lines are going. So now I'm just going to get the students to enhance, enhance their journey just a little bit. Um, my journey was going to school and, um, and there is a lake with some ducks and stuff. So I'm just going to pop the lake into to my journey and I'll get the students to also pop just another detail as, a, as in a motif on their journey path. So you, you can see the textures that I've made. I'm doing a representation of, of the, the wave rippling. And we've got a motif, oh, there you go, sorry. And we've got a motif here of a, of a fire. And then the other motif we have here um, would have to be the golden arches, which is the McDonald's sign. <laughs> okay, so students have completed their motif. So the fire is here. We've got the lake with the trees. And then we've got the McDonald's. And everyone's thinking different ways and different textures to represent their motif. And then we could stick that up on the roof, which is what John Olsen did. He liked to 